guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, I didn't say friends. Whoa. Can we switch the language? Hi friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for finding me. Please do stay and show me some love. And if you've come back, then amazing. I've not scared you off. I'm just gonna do a little quick fire two month implant update. So it's currently the 3rd of June. Um, so my two month anniversary of getting it out was the 24th of May. So like last week. Um, I filmed a one month update, but I never uploaded it. Um, I'm kind of glad that I didn't really. It was just a bit unnecessary. It wasn't unnecessary, but it was just a bit like meh. So again, no makeup coming to you and no makeup on to do a little bit of a skin update, how I'm feeling, um, how my like cycle's going, things like that. Like anything like for anybody curious about how long it takes to start seeing results, not results, but like changes. Um, obviously everybody's different and every single contraception will work different for somebody else. So like this, just because this happened to me doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you. Vice versa, just because you had results in like a day or a week doesn't mean that I'm going to. So if you want to know how I'm getting on, just keep watching. Really quick fire, short little video, like an update on how I'm getting on basically. I thought I said I would track the results on the process, the progress. So here I am. So it's like I say, it's been two months and a week. So like nine weeks since I've had it out. And overall, I have started to see some changes in my body. So I'll come close to the camera. It probably doesn't do it justice on here, but my skin, I've had a bit of a breakout because it's been really hot in the UK and then I've been wearing a mask all day. And then I was away at the weekend with makeup on and a mask on and it was really hot. So I think my pores opened and makeup sunk into them and you know the drill. So I have had a breakout. So, but other, other than that, like generally, like my skin is brighter, it's clearer, it's healthier, it's softer. Um, my acne has definitely gone. It's just now scarring that I'm left with that I'm dealing with with um, Harris. He's doing my skin, like microneedling and skin boosters. I was meant to go today, but because I had a couple of nasty breakouts, he can't do the microneedling around where the breakout is, and that's where I need the work. So I said, can we just wait? But yeah, my skin is so much better and clearer, brighter. I feel like my eyes look better, like I look like more awake. So yeah, that's really good. I've noticed that I don't sweat as much. Like, I don't know if this is a thing for anybody else or people's have the opposite effect where their pill stops them sweating or whatever. But since coming off my implant, I don't sweat anywhere near as much. I don't have to, I used to have to use roll on and spray on. There are some days where I do, like if it's obviously really hot, I might, but I don't sweat anywhere near as much as I used to. I don't sweat through deodorant as much anymore. I find that really weird. Um, don't know if that's just like me in my head, like a coincidence. I, I don't think it can be though, really. I found that I'm nowhere near as anxious about things as I used to be. Things that would stress me out, make me worry and cry, don't. But I don't know if that's because I was going through a little bit more of a stressful time in my life or because that genuinely has changed. I don't know. Oh my God, my voice. <laughs> it's like... A little bit's gone because of being at work all day yesterday. I'm talking all day. And that's literally the only reason why I'm not poorly or anything. Don't feel anxious about things anymore. I don't think anyway. I can't tell you a time the last time I felt like anxious or overwhelmed. I've had I've had days like times where I've been like flat on energy and like like snappier and things like that but that was because i now do have a period back i didn't have periods on my implant if you didn't like know that or if i did they were very irregular like once like four times a year like random i now have i've had three regular periods since coming off like on time since coming off the implant so i came off on the 24th of march and then like by the like the following week, I had a little period. So I tracked it on a flow app to see if it was a legit period or it was just like my body like getting rid of like shit and starting again. And then I got one on the 28th of, uh, around the 28th of April, like around that time. And then I thought, right, it'll be the tester at the end of May. And I did get one, but they're very light. They're only three days. They're not heavy seven day ones like I used to get. I didn't get any period pains. And I, I got very mild period pains this time. But the last time I didn't. My cycle is 31 days, not like 28. It's a bit of a longer cycle, but that the app says that's normal. And I get ovulation pain. I know when I'm ovulating. I feel a lot more in tune with my body and it's so, so nice. Like I can, I, I'll go to log like a symptom on the app and the app will go, have you felt like this today? And then the symptom that I wanted to log would be on there as like a list of suggested symptoms. So I'm like, oh my God, yeah. So I feel so in tune with my body. I know when I'm coming on my period, like, I know where I'm at and it's such a nice feeling. And I know I'm nowhere near like the end of this 
hormone coming out like i know it can take i'm gonna give it like at least six months so it will be like is that like september that i'll know more um, and i'll see if anything else changes in terms of bloating hasn't changed i'm still very very bloated all the time um so i'm gonna look into that and see if it's like an allergy or a sensitivity to something maybe to keep a food why well, do you keep a food diary because i track my food and see and go to the doctor maybe and see if it's something that i'm a little bit sensitive to see if it's that because i do still get very bloated after most things that i eat and drink like nearly everything so i don't know what it could be but we'll see that could go later i don't know it could stop my bloating but um i'm sleeping better i will feel tired and fall and go to sleep like quite quickly i don't spend ages tossing and turning anymore and i more or less sleep through the night now whereas when i was on my implant it would take me ages to get off and sometimes i would lay and cry in bed like not in this fact like i lived at home or whatever i wouldn't be able to sleep um i'd go on my phone but now i don't do that i can i start to feel tired around like 11 rather than like 1 a.m and i put my phone down and fall straight asleep and i wake up feeling not tired so my sleep's improved my anxiety levels have dropped um my skin's improved my my like well-being as a whole has improved my cycle is regular and normal i'm in tune with my body again so overall really two months on my update is I'm doing pretty fucking well and I would actually recommend to anybody if you've been on some kind of contraception for a long time have a break and see how your body is meant to be without all these hormones pumped into it like I know a lot of people on TikTok have done it like, I don't know if it's just my for you page because I'm obviously like doing that but I've seen loads of people say it and they're like weight dropped their mood improved their hair grew like so much happened so yeah basically that is my very short sweet little update on how i'm doing i'll do another update in a month so it's three months down the line so that's like halfway through the six month period to see if anything happens in this month um if nothing dramatic in like changes or improves and obviously i'll just won't do it i'll just wait a couple more months but i know a couple of people have asked me like how that how i was doing because they've done the same so yeah i just wanted to update you guys that's how i'm feeling the experience so far 10 out of 10 i've had no like bad like complications i've had like no nothing get worse everything has got better or stayed the same so 10 out of 10 give yourself a break from contraception you deserve it you're worth it your body deserves it get back in tune on how you're supposed to be so yeah that's basically my little update that's all i've got to really like say it's not a lot so thank you so much for watching if you want to see anything more to do with like this kind of stuff or you've got any suggestions on what you want to actually see um, I'm working through my list that I got last time. I just need to pick a day where me and Matty can like say it or shot it or whatever. And I think we're going to do one with Yasmin as well, say it or shot it, because that would be really fun. So yeah, um, let me know what you want to see and I will see you in my next video. Bye!